Hello, this is Jose Luis here at Parametric Camp and welcome to another video in this series Advanced Development in Grasshopper where what I would like to show you is something that I worked on recently is that I made this video for some training materials some lectures and I wanted to make a video where I was explaining the idea of parametric modeling. So the idea that you put together components, you explore all the possibilities you have, etc. So I made this video where I basically recorded, I screen grabbed on the left hand side the Rhino viewport and on the right hand side the Grasshopper canvas. But in order to make the video very clean and very elegant, what I did was that I changed the background of the Rhino viewport to white, as you have seen in my previous videos. But I also needed to change the background of the Grasshopper canvas to, um, to a full white color in order to cut those two things out and then make a clean, nice video with some video editing software. So for that, I actually had to change the color of the Grasshopper canvas background, which ended up requiring some custom code, you know, which relates a lot to what we have learned in the previous videos about how to write C sharp code to change the things that uh, affect the document. So I would like to teach you right now how to write a syncable component that you can use to customize the color of the canvas of your grasshopper definitions. Let's take a look at that. Before we start, I would like to give a thumbs up and some credit to James Ramson. I was inspired by his, um, he, the example that he posted on his website, which by the way, I very strongly recommend it. Very, it's very good. It has a lot of resources on like tiny snippets of cool things that you can do with Grasshopper, uh, C Sharp, and the, the, the P programming language, etc., etc. So uh, make sure to check this out. There will be a link to this post uh, in the description in this video or in here where I'm going to be prototyping this example. So in the video, in the previous video, we saw how to write components that change things about the document that we're working with. So I'm going to add here a new component that is going to be changing the canvas colors. So as you've seen in previous videos, this is a C sharp component, right? And I have added this input called the switcher so that we can turn on and off these custom colors. And then I have added, and this is going to be of the type Boolean, of course. And then here I have added four more inputs, uh, which are the colors of the grid, of the back, of the edge, and of the shade. We will take a look at what those mean. And this is going to be, let's say, super black, for example. And then what I need to remember to do is that these are going to have a very specific uh, data type, which is going to be system color. So what I need to do is that I need to go here and make sure that we are choosing system color for each one of these four inputs. So system color, system color, and et cetera, et cetera. Okay. All right, beautiful. So once we got that, I'm actually going to full screen this because we're not going to use the viewport at all. So once we have that, what I can do is the following. I can just double click here and you can see that all my inputs are now here as part of the system, correct? And what I would like to do is just to make things easier to type. I'm just going to make sure that I'm importing and using here system drawing. Okay, so that I can type my color stuff right away without having to type system.drawing.color. blah blah blah, which is a little too much. And then once I have this here, the first thing that I would like to do is I would like to make sure that switcher is if this is on, I'm going to change some colors. Otherwise, if it's not, I will probably go back to the original colors of grasshopper standard uh the standard canvas all right so one or the other and i'm not going to output anything i could actually just simply remove this because it's not going to be useful at all and then what i would like to do is i would like to make sure that when i get here i change the color of a particular element of the canvas to the color that has been given here as an input how do I do that? Well, as we saw in previous videos, we have the Rhino Common API, which gives us access to geometry manipulations and things that have to do with grass uh, with Rhino. But we also have the Grasshopper SDK, which gives us access to 
grasshopper specific stuff like access to components, access to how the document works, solutions, etc. In this case, because we're modeling with we're changing the canvas, we want to change something that is actually part of grasshopper. So that's why we need to go specifically to the grasshopper SDK or the grasshopper big main library. And we need to start accessing from this element many of the things that are part of this very large uh, and complex object that has a lot of information, data types, etc. etc. You can see that it has a lot of stuff, central settings, documentation, blah, blah, blah. Where we're going to situate ourselves is in the graphic user interface. And then we're going to set here and we're going to say, well, there's actually a lot of stuff here, equations, colors, canvas, base, etc., etc., and a lot of classes to do separate different things. So this is basically a rabbit hole. You can explore this forever. But the one we're looking for is here in Canvas. And within Canvas, there is something called the Grasshopper Skin, which is a static class that has access to a bunch of properties that we can read from if we just want to know which colors they are or that we can, um, or that we can write to. And actually, now that we're doing this, I remember that I don't really know what the colors, what the default colors are. Let me, let me, for example, do the following. Let me say, I'm going to spit out what is the default color right now for the back. So I'm going to say grasshopper, U, UI, uh, whoop, sorry, canvas, grasshopper skin, what is this? Grasshopper skin and then canvas back. And I'm going to spit that out through the component. And then what I'm going to get is the current color of the canvas, which you can see is 1212208200. Um, and I'm going to internalize this data. Can I do that? Copy, can I internalize? I cannot. So I'm just going to do here. And then this is going to be the back. Okay. I'm just going to say, well, what about other colors? So what is the edge, the color of the edge? And I'm going to run this and it's zero, zero. So that's boring. So what is the color of the grid? I'm going to execute this and it's zero, zero with a 30% transparency. So that's going to be grid is zero, zero, zero uh, with a 30% transparency. And what else do I need? The shade. Um, the canvas shade, this is going to be uh, same, but with an 80% transparency. All right. So I think with that, I am ready to now to change those. So I'm going to remove all of this here. And I'm going to remove this and we're going to go one by one. And I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say if switcher is true, I want to change the back of the canvas to this color here. So let me turn this on, grasshopper screen, and then canvas back is going to be equal to whichever color is part of the input. Canvas back. So this value that is given me is being given to me as an input. Otherwise, if this is not, I would like to go to the default value, which I got here. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to say color from a R G V and a is probably full <clears throat> color. So that's going to be, do I have to input the always the alpha? Do I have the alpha now? So I can do R G V. So that's going to be 212, 28 and 200. And I think we should be ready to go with this. So let me try this out. I'm going to close this, right? And right now this is false. So we are getting the default value. And if I turn this on, boom, the back is now full white or full red or full whatever I change here. And if I go back to that, then we get the default value. Beautiful. So then let's just write the rest real quick. So let's see. So I'm just going to copy all this stuff here because I'm going to be reusing it a lot. <clears throat> I'm going to copy this. So that's going to be skin.canvasgrid. Oh, 
canvas grid is going to be equal to canvas whoop, canvas grid. And then here is going to be canvas grid and then color from, ugh, I'm very sloppy with the typing today. From RGB, that's going to be 30, 0, 0, and 0, if I am correct. So let's try that out. Okay, the grid is now very, very, I can probably make this full white, correct? Yes. And um, so this is how I did it back in when I was trying to do the other. And now if we go back to default, it looks like we have black lines with a 30% transparency. And if I now wrap this up, I'm going to wrap this up by saying canvas edge is going to be equal to canvas edge and then canvas what shade is going to be equal to canvas shade. There's a typo there. And then here canvas edge is going to be equal to color from RGB. And what did we get for the edge? The edge was black basically. And canvas, canvas, what is it called? Shade. The default was a color from RGB, 80% transparency, not 80% transparency, 80 value, which is, it's not exactly a percentage, it's from 0 to 255. And when we do that, and I turn this on, the canvas edge and the canvas shade are these areas here. So the edge is this hard line here and the shade is this gradient that is popping out here. And I'm assuming there's also colors to for this shade here, etc., etc. I mean, there's a lot of stuff. So you can actually keep you can actually keep exploring and looking at, for example, uh, the columns and rows. This is an integer, right? This is not a color. I'm assuming this is probably going to change the size of those, um, how big are the, the grid lines in each direction, the mono, mono color. So I don't know if this is to change, to switch between monochrome and polychrome, you know, but there's a lot of stuff, palettes, uh, panels, skins, locks, wires, you can change the, the colors of the wires as well. There's a lot of things you can do here. So I'm going to leave that up to you to explore how do you like how would you like to change the colors in your canvas and all the things that you can customize about the canvas i'm going to leave that as an exercise for you but um but yeah and i believe there's actually plugins that do this but you can see how straightforward writing such plugins or customizing this for yourself and you could do conditional stuff you could do you could do you could read information or geometry from the component from somewhere and then pipe that into this component so that the colors of the canvas somehow are reflective of what's happening with the geometry. If you get an error somewhere, maybe you, the canvas turns red, you know, and if everything's going well, the canvas has the full colors. I don't know. You can get pretty creative with this, you know, so but I'm going to leave that up to you. All right. So beautiful. Thank you very much for being here. If you like what you saw and if you learned something maybe give us a thumbs up maybe subscribe to the channel say hi in discord in the comments whatever uh, otherwise see you on the next video bye bye